Hello everyone, this is um, Serigras or is my GM, you can call me. Um, and welcome to the first tutorial on Sandbox for Foundry VTT. It's a tool I programmed um, to let you uh, create any TTRPG um, rule sets or systems for Foundry without coding. Okay, so thanks everyone for the support um, because as you know, we had a, a little campaign um, in which we wanted, um, we, we, we looked for 100 uh, subscribers in our YouTube channel. Um, our YouTube channel is called, well, it's, it's down in, in the description, but it's called uh, RollNL, which is this one. So thanks for your support because we achieved that um, a week ago and released a sandbox. Um, so if you like what we what, what, what I'm doing here and you want to support me, please uh, follow us on Twitch, even if you don't understand Spanish because of a Spanish channel um, or subscribe just because because this is costing me a lot of time. So if, if, if you want to say thanks, that's, that's the best way of doing it. OK. Uh, yeah let me delete this okay so what we're going to see today today this this is a tutorial the first tutorial in a series and we're going to learn how to use a sandbox um in a basic way all right so sandbox requires two things to create a system so the first thing is uh, the template actor and the second thing is a compendium. Today we're going to focus on the template actor. What is a template actor? Template actor is an actor that contains the structure of a character sheet. So this structure is made of um, sheet tabs, uh, panels, and properties. And these things are contained within each other. We're going to see that right now. So. Our first step to create our character sheet for our system is to create a template actor. How are we going to do that? We click on create actor and I mean this template actor or template, template PC. Okay, this is our template and we have to click on template. Voila, this is our template actor. Okay, let me put in some, some cool image icon. Of course, I'm going to in next release. I'm going to add um, default icons for all the elements of Sandbox. But I haven't had the time right now. This is getting me super busy. Okay, so this is our first template actor, and as it is um, described on the README file, it's better if you. I mean this. I mean, Sandbox is optimal if you follow a certain rules for folder structure. So these rules are your templates in a folder called slash down config and in items directory, this structure that is described again in the readme. Yeah, in the readme um, with compendium and template. Yeah, the th two things that we need for our system. Plus our template yeah okay so let's go back to the template character actor so the template actors um, contain inside the structure of the character sheet so what tabs do we find on the template actor um, all the tabs that any character that drinks the information from the template actor is going to have bio see items and token and tabs the most important tab you can you can change between them with this with these two clicks the most important one is the tabs one okay so how does this work so imagine that well first of all we always have to rebuild sheet every time we create a template actor or we edit it let's create it yeah and always every time we do that we need to click um we need to press F5. Let's go back to the actor directory. So let's create an actor, normal one. So the first thing that we have to check is the options for the template actor. Here in this list box, we'll see the different template actors that this actor that we're creating can have. Yeah. So if we choose the template PC, the template actor that we created, we're gonna 
generate tabs we're going to generate attributes we're going to generate all the information of the cat sorry of the character sheet that we want so let's do it we create template pc and as you can see nothing changes because we haven't created anything on that template pc so the default tabs that any actor has is bio in which you can write the background of this character uh, blah 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 yeah and the c items c items is a tab that only the game master will see and here you're going to have listed all the c items that are attached to the actor more on this in the next tutorial okay template pc let's start with this so as i said the most important one is the tabs so what is the structure of the template actor so first of all tabs which is up here all these tabs yeah so we can add more tabs then inside the tabs we can have panels and inside the panels we can have properties which are the elements that are going to create our attributes like level strength charisma etc yeah so let's create a first tab let's go back to our items directory template tabs and here we are going to create our first tab which is going to be called stats this is going to be sheet tab we create the item okay let me change the icon so it's easier to follow the, uh, this one yeah so this is my first tab we have three tabs in this in the tabs window um the first one is description it could be this tab contains the i don't know numeric info let's say something like that or whatever description that you want to add details this is the most important one so the first two things that always have to be filled in a tab are the title stats which is the label or word that is going to be displayed here over this uh, black underline and the key every element in sandbox must have a key and the key is a single word word only a single word that defines every element in sandbox so you can't have stats tab you can't you can't it must be a word so you can you can but you can do this you can do uh underscore tab stats underscore tab and that would work so every element in sandbox must have a key and must be unique okay control public so every all players will see this tab on the character sheet and the visibility this is something that we'll talk about in next tutorial because it is a little bit more advanced yeah and the panels that it requires yeah so this is our first tab let's create another one we duplicate it's called inventory okay details oh as we duplicated this is duplicated so let's change the information and as key has to be unique let's fill in here with invent whoop inventory tab yeah okay so we have two tabs stats and inventory and we want them inside our template pc so what we have to do is to drag them from the items directory onto the template as we've changed the template actor or and their elements contained we need to rebuild this sheet and press f5 yeah fantastic so let's open the new actor and let's see what happened to it as you can see as it drinks it's linked to the these templates we it has created two tabs stats tabs and the inventory tabs they're empty we still have the c items but it is only visible to the gm so as you can see two new tabs have been created they're empty so now we have to fill them with panels and properties okay so let's start with let's start with panels let's create our first panel which is going to be called info panel we select panel there is our panel yes as always with me because i like to have everything organized i'm going to select a an icon this one 
I'll probably put these icons as um, default ones in the next release description the same thing as tabs details again very important the key so info underscore panel because remember it can only be one word title info and now the most important thing of panels are the width and the columns no here okay width and the columns so the width is the width that the panel is going to occupy inside the character sheet so if i leave it one it will occupy all the width which is a minimum of 600 uh, pixels but let's start with two thirds and the columns is the number of elements and proper properties basically that every each row is going of of the panel is going to have so let's put it here too we can have the content alignment we can we can tell the panel how to align the contents inside and the labels if i click on here center all the labels um beside the input fields will going to be con uh, aligned centrally okay now we have to add this panel to our let's add it to our tab stats stats tab sorry on our panels tab on stats tab, oof, it's difficult we have to drag the info panel so summarizing to create a new character sheet in sandbox so you need to have a template actor with some tabs attached inside the tabs you need to have panels and inside inside the panels you're going to have properties so this is like a this matryoshka dolls okay and this is the the basis of of what is sandbox all right so as we've introduced some changes we need to rebuild the sheet and press on f5 let's see our new actor so if we click on inventory we don't have anything but stats booyah here we have the header of our panel remember if we don't fill this field the title of the panel we won't have any header okay the format of the header we can be changed by changing the title background here in transparent the background will be transparent and the font will be gray and gray doesn't exist so it's it's a bug i need to change it or or include a new uh, a, a new format sorry let's add some properties properties let's create a new one this one is going to be level okay let me change the icon property icon that's it again description and detail so we have several types of properties simple text which is a short text simple numeric a number checkbox you know why is this checkbox radio buttons uh, like on like in vampire the masquerade all those circles text area a, a an area of of long text list like this list box here badge which is a token um, that is very useful for games like Fate or Savage Worlds or drama systems in which you click and you use a token, yeah? And table, which is very complicated and is not going to, we're not going to look at this in this tutorial. We'll look at this on the next tutorial. Okay, so our first properties level is going to be simple numeric. It needs to have a key, like always. I try to have the keys similar to the properties or element names, but on um on um normal letters not capital letters tag level it's editable by the player no default value is one has a label this label that i just um filled yes the label size i don't care it's going to fit the width of the tag the format bold small or instead of a text just a dice symbol no just normal 
And it's rollable. Is it rollable? Can I roll with it? No. Does it have a max value? No. Is it automatically calculated? No. All right, so let's add our first property to our here we go and as we changed a lot of things so we need to rebuild our template f5 we open the new actor and here we go here's the level now there's a mistake here as you can see because we told it to have default one and when i write it disappears what just happened here well there's a security system here in sandbox um that does the following so if you by mistake change anything on the template actor so you create or you drag something by mistake drag a property or something like that and end up rebuilding it and you create it any actor that had that that has that edited template actor is going to show that new property but you won't be able to change it in order to fix this actor and to accept that change if the change is is correct is a change that you wanted to do so you need to do the following change back into the default um template actor which is everything empty yeah and then go back to the template pc so when you select a template actor it rebuilds everything again and creates all the properties that have not been created and here it is level with the default value of one okay so it's very important that you create the the character sheet the template char character sheet correctly before introducing all the compendium elements of the system like the monsters the the, the the npcs and everything because if you need to change something here you'll have to go actor by actor doing this that i've just done tell me what you think about this if you think it's not necessary this this security measures uh, will remove it and will make um and will make all the actors uh, automatically update with the change of the template actor okay now that was our first simple numeric property let's add a second one let's duplicate this and let's call this uh, background so let me remove all this information and start anew so the key is going to be background no capital letters it's going to be a text it's going to be edited it can be edited by the player tag background oh just as a quick explanation in level you see the tag lvl is shown here the default one one okay and is a number now here for background is going to be simple text no default value um let let's put it bold yeah okay and for the simple text you can select the size of the of the um, like the width of the text input field so small would be something like this this size this width medium will be something like half of this and large is going is something very similar to this to this length let's say fit fit to the width of the panel and we'll forget about this info panel we include the background property as always we go back to the template actor we rebuild it we press f5 we go to the new actor and there it is and it appears like on bold text because we dis we, we chose that let me show you what we did as you can see background background here it's a simple text it's bold format okay here we have it and as you can see the panel distributed the properties in two by row yeah because we have two columns by row and it occupies two-thirds of the width of our character sheet now let's create a new property what can we create now duplicate 
let's see what we can create now let's create a checkbox yeah let's see npc this property is called npc npc and let's write down npc no default value this time not editable by player checkbox so a checkbox is one of those boxes that you can tick um it has these um selectable options very similar to the rest so let's add it to our properties and rebuild character sheet now here we have it so what is going to happen if we mark it in this existing actor as i said it's not going to work so we need to do this the default uh oh, sorry and go back to the template pc and then it's going to let me use it this doesn't happen if we create a new actor from scratch new actor 2 if we create the new actor from scratch and we select the template pc everything works perfectly that is only for existing actors that were related to the previous version of the template actor yeah okay so this is a checklist this would be the background this would be the level that we can change yeah okay let's create a new property let's see another property let me duplicate level again so this one is going to be what's the next one radio um sanity let's create sanity 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 default value none editable by the player no oh sorry sanity okay so what are radios so these are radio buttons um circles that you must always must this is mandatory introduce the max value the max value for example let's say five yeah so let's introduce sanity into our panel and let's rebuild the template actor f5 oops it doesn't work why well like always i said default we go back to the template pc and here they are they are okay and again it doesn't happen if you create a new actor from scratch and assign template pc so here i can select the sanity level yeah and if i want to remove all of them just click on the x and that's it but it's mandatory to have a maximum value okay let's remove these two test characters yeah and let's continue creating properties let's duplicate level what's the next one so the next one is text area okay for text area we're going to do something different we're going to call it notes notes let's remove this let's remove the tag i don't need a tag i don't need a label text area okay input size fit can be small medium or large uh, i don't care well let's talk medium in the in the text area the input size is the height yeah so if i choose small i think is 150 px let's choose medium and we'll do that okay for this we're going to create a new panel so we duplicate this panel and we're going to create to rename it as notes panel remember always changing when you duplicate things if you need to um rename them the best thing is to create the item from scratch but um and i just find this faster but you can do whatever whichever so we don't need a title um this is one third why because we want to occupy this space with the text area uh one column just i just need the text area in here and properties we need to delete the ones cloned and include the notes we need to include this panel 
in stats because we don't have that panel notes panel in stats we include in stats where we build the sheet f5 let's create a new actor choose a template pc and voila here's the text area i know the, the i know this the styling is horrible okay i mean my main focus is functionality uh, so if you guys want to help me and 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 i know there's an issue in in the Git, in gitlab um but we'll try to to fix this and and make it as, as good looking as possible but it's going to take me a lot of time and your help please okay so you can change the, the height but you cannot change the width because width is uh, critical for sandbox okay that was that was text area let's go then to properties and create the new one step duplicate level okay so what can we create we have to create a list okay so it's going to be class property called class with the key class the tag class non editable by the player not default value and let's choose that list so in list we create a list box and the options must be introduced here uh, separated by commas and no spaces so i can write here fighter mage bro okay those are the options yeah so let's add it to the info panel so we'll come here down here class we rebuilt the sheet yep new actor and here it is yeah okay fantastic and let's go to i think the final this is a final property list label and batch okay let's go with label so this is going to be label test yeah so label no default value we choose label and this is a test okay so when we create a label we only create a piece of text that cannot be edited like the ones in here on the left to the left of of, of the input fields so if i'm going to the properties and add label test will appear here let's check that we press f5 like always after rebuilding and here it is this is a test and it's just, just a label we can create properties without a label yeah so for example if i remove the label of level and i say that level has no label if i rebuild the sheet and press f5 you see here that the label disappears but it's really ugly it can be useful in sometimes and so sandbox is like is is like a tool to create many things so it's all up to you and your imagination and, and how to use these these tools i've used all of the properties so they're all useful level we take back the label okay now let's create the next one next property which was last one badge okay for the badge is interesting to have a maximum tool like radio and this is useful for um fate fate points for example and things like that yeah you have the maximum is 10 fate points for example yeah so we add it to the info panel we remake this we build this f5 here it is as always it was existing default template pc okay now so oh what happened here mistake because i forgot about something very important 
for the badge property which is this this type that I created we always need also a default value okay so let's delete this one rebuild the template PC F5 we create a new actor we assign the template PC and here it is you always I'm sorry you always need a default value for a badge property so how does this work we can add up to the 10 it doesn't let you go over that and when you click it I'm sorry for this I didn't realize this I received the bug yesterday I was told about this this is in Spanish but it means it uses one fate uh, remaining nine okay I'll change this to English in the next release okay so if I keep using them boom boom, boom. so you can see very useful for bennies for savage wars for fate points and things like that now last two th two things that i'd like to talk about um first one i'm going to create a hit point yeah hit points hp hp is a simple numeric um by default it's going to be one hp now max value if I add a max value to a simple numeric a box to the right of the simple numeric is going to appear showing the maximum yeah so let's add this to the info panel we'll rebuild press F5 here it is oh always the same thing yeah don't worry let's delete and start over with a new one template pc here it is as you can see default value 1 and maximum 10. it's grayed out because the player won't be able to change it but the the, the game master will what if i write here 12 it doesn't let me it goes back to 10. now let's talk about automation in properties let's assume that let's imagine that we want the maximum HP to be the level multiplied by 10 so we can do this by this simple operation yeah with at and between keys we need to include the key of the property that we are talking about is level level key is level so let's add it here yeah so let's see what happens when we rebuild the character sheet now 10 is 1 multiplied by 10 what if i write 2 there it is what if i write 3 there it is changes to 40 okay now if i edit here and put 15 if i change the level nothing happens because you've let's say hard coded the max HP now how to go back to the automation so you leave blank this and it will recalculate automatically and go back to this previous behavior yeah okay now now we've talked about maximum let's talk about auto values let's imagine that you have I don't know uh, rank let's let's create a property called rank and rank rank with no default value rank is automatically calculated with level so the rank it will always be 5 multiplied by the level okay we know this expression let's add Oh, sorry let's add this to our info panel okay and let's rebuild template PC press F5 let's delete this actor because let's start a new here it is so as you can see here not even the game master can edit in an auto field yeah out of auto options can be used let me tell you yeah these auto options can have 
role expressions like you find in the readme like the max value too that are only usable in radio buttons um numeric simple numerics and badges yeah okay so let's let's see if it calculates it yeah here you have it two per five ten three multiplied by five fifteen yeah so and we can edit it okay so this was more or less all one last thing i wanted to talk about is that there's an option in sandbox to check difficulties and to use a box called ds difficulty class in case your system needs it but many people are telling me hey it doesn't appear yeah it doesn't appear because unfortunately and i'll solve this in the future i don't know how right now you need a scene to see this so if you create any scene and then press f5 this dc appears here where you can write the difficulty that you want for your role and you can use it in automations but you will see that in the next tutorial in other tutorial and this only appears if you have a scene active okay thank you very much if um if you like this tutorial please um subscribe or comment or help us a little bit this is um uh, making me lose hair <laughs> but we'll keep working for this uh, thank you very much see you in the next tutorial